if you are carrying a bucket of water and somebody came from behind and pushed you hardly, what we pour? I believe it's the water. But if you make people to know you are carrying water, bucket of water, and somebody came from behind and pushed you, an acid now pour. So what were you really carrying? Was it really water or acid? It's acid because you cannot be carrying water and acid is pouring out of your bucket. So what does that mean today? If you say you are living for Jesus and somebody come and push you, step on your toes, and you are paying that person back with his own coin, what was inside you is what you are bringing out. It's what was inside you you are bringing out. So, if you say, oh, I'm living for Jesus. Remember, the old man must go down. If the old man don't go, the new man cannot come alive. The old man, you know, when you plant a corn, the corn must first die before he can germinate. That is how our Christian lives is. So, the old man in you, that Adamic nature, must be crucified. So when you say, I'm a child of God, I've given my life to God for the past 10 years, and somebody came to step on your toes, and you give that person water, water. You let that person know, no, today I'm in Christ. Those days, this was me, and you give that person water, water. That means, the new man has not really, it's not residing in you. You are still walking in your old man. Even when you are trying to make people to know, I'm not a child of God. I'm not in Christ. Christ in me. No. With what came out of you, it's an evidence. Evidence for people to know that, oh, this person is still living in her old state. This person is still living in her home. The old man is still residing in him or her. So are you there? Because you must be tested. We must be tested. Remember Jesus was on the cross. And there he was saying. With all the nails. All the beating. All the mockering. All the spatting. All everything they did to him. As he was there. He was saying father. Forgive them for they know. Not what they do. So. Christ have. Live. He has given us an example. He said, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. So he has given us example to follow. So even at his dying state, he was saying, Father, forgive them. So we must carry this along. The old man must be crucified. The new man must come alive. The old man must not be living while the new man, no. The old man must go down. Why the new man must live in you? I pray. Whatever it will take you to crucify the flesh and to carry your cross daily to follow your maker, I pray the Lord will give it to you. God bless you.